Fellas, it's Monday morning at Kaplan Cycles, and we've got a trailer load of gems to show you. The riding season is upon us. The first Southwick season opener was yesterday. We got a nice cigar and a little 911 coffee to start in the morning. Billy, sound the horns. <laughs> Now that was not a two-stroke horn because this, we are summoning the Lords of the Four Strokes. We got a trailer full of four strokes today. Come take a look. Oh. James. <laughs> What's happening? Never open this trailer because he's usually in there with his 357 Magnum. So he's our retired police officer and he's watching the motorcycles, right James? Yep. So where'd you come from, James? Oh, uh, he's came from Kentucky. Kentucky? Yep. Way down in the heart of Kentucky. Bluegrass, the Kentucky bluegrass. bluegrass. Yeah. What do you got here? How many you got in here? Thirteen. What do we got here? A classic CB two hundred Honda. Look at look at the look at the engine on this one right here. This is like a um, I don't know what you'd call it. Wow. Uh, bobber slash cafe. It's got the brown seat, the gold tank. It's got knobby tires on it. Then hey Moses, what, what do you what do you call this seat right here, Moses? It's called Jolly, Jolly Ride. Jolly Ride seat. It's a Jolly Ride seat. <laughs> Look at this thing. First thing I'm gonna do is take a hacksaw and lop the lumps off of that, man. That is terrible. That's like that's like one of the big forehead seats. <laughs> that's gotta go, man. But Kyle, we, we got a seat in stock for this thing? This is terrible. Yeah, we got some. We got plenty of them. Look. Oh, you got a nice one? Yeah, look at them all. So now there's a trail load of parts James couldn't fit in here that comes with us 550 and 750 motors, so stay tuned. We got another 754, seats, 750, tank. 550, and there's a, isn't there, there's a one two stroke in here, right? What'd you get? Man, we got a 98 CR250 that's been completely restored by my buddy uh, Jerry. And James says it's the nicest bike he's ever picked up for us. Wow. It's the sweetest bike I've ever seen. I've delivered over 5,000 bikes here. So. This thing's exceeding wow. expectations, Billy. Wow, look, the wheels are brand There's new. There's a beauty. Look at look the motor on that. that wow. And the Del Delkevic exhaust. Gold chain. Is that up? Hey, man, look at that thing. That thing's badass. I think it's a super sport seat, but. Wow. Yeah, that's fresh. Hey, hey, come here a second. I'm going to show you something real quick. Look at this. Hold on. Leave that one right there. Look, look, look at this 200. It's got cafe bars on it. It's got the. Bob front fender, it's got the heat tape on there, the NGK wires, brand new carbs, decent paint job, custom seat. It's got the hockey grip tape on the back here. That's a cool little cafe rider, man, with a dual megaphone exhaust chrome. Can't wait to run this thing. Stay tuned, we'll have it running in about three hours. This thing? Yeah. The Del Kevick performance exhaust on it. That's a little ripper. Love the orange motor. Rat fink. It's got knobbies on it. I'll rip this one up the hill for you guys, no problem. I'm gonna send it. This next one's a real gem. Hey, show them the Suzuki 120. <laughs> Guys, this may be the last original mint 1971 Suzuki 120, original paint. Guy just came all the way from Ohio and bought it from us. Wheel this one out. You young guys gotta do this because it's heavy. Yeah, guys, dude, we can't thing? afford you to have a broken back, James. Oh, no. You need to be healthy. Billy, those 33s you're wearing are falling off of you, man. You know all, all this, uh, all this riding you've been doing. All this riding. Yeah, you definitely oh, gotten, sure. you definitely gotten good shape this winter. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> When's your first race? Coming up this month. Hold on, stop for a second. I gotta show him something. Look at this. Look at this. L look at what a buzz kill the wrong seat will be. This is a 550 Super Sport with a four to one pipe. It's got buckhorn bo bars and a terrible seat. We'll get rid of the seat. We'll put a paint job on it. Put some super bike bars. Have Jeff Castine put the super tune on it. A little fluff and buff. This tank is gonna be like new again. And now it's beyond fluff and buff. Check it out. It's got the original factory green gauges, 14,000 miles. Original oh, front fender. Surprisingly clear. Shockingly. We just need to put the proper stock seat on it and some super bike bars. And a new tank. Gold. And a new tank. Yep, new tank and uh, uh, some badges. Should be sweet. Yeah, 550 Super Sport, that, that's a little jewel for yep. sure. Yep, yeah, those are uh, almost as much power as a 750, but much lighter. The handle, great. They're definitely cool. CB750, 1978, four into one pipe. It's gonna need some carbs, paint job, and uh, a little bit of love, but we'll bring her back. Look at the seat on this thing. The seat is beautiful. Is that the original factory seat? I'm not sure. Wow. I'm it looks sure. really nice. The original grab rail, chrome. Yep, good starting point. This one had me at hello. Look at the fantastic original paint scheme on this thing with the 554 badge and the K. They don't make them like this anymore, guys. This is a 1978 blacked out rims, four into two. 
Uh, Jardine turn-down turn down exhaust. It's got the original bars on there. Guys, this one's showing 10,500 original miles. Take a peek at it now, because once it goes through our shop, it's gonna look like, uh, shine like a diamond. Original headlamp. This one's nice. Very cool. It uh, is missing the original air box on it, I think. No, it has the air box. It's just missing the, uh, the rubber boot. So we'll either put a boot on there or put some uh, nice uh, pod filters on there. Look at this one. This is kind of a cool look here. They um, stripped the paint off and then clear coated the steel tank. This was a friend of the guy I got it from. The, guy, the kid went in the Marines and he felt obligated to buy the bike from the kid. I like the seat on. It's got like a brown seat with the, the, the uh, stainless. Actually, that's aluminum, right? Pretty sure it's aluminum tank. No, it's, it's steel. It's steel, tank. steel, steel, and it looks like aluminum because they stripped it down, then clear coated it, painted the rims black. Definitely a unique look. This will be a this will be a, a unique. Uh, it looks cafe like someone Robert. rebuilt it as well. Look at the base gasket. It's yeah, it's got a brand new base gasket on there. That's always a good sign. I mean, it's, the motor's been top end's been redone. We'll run a compression test on it. Check for spark. Put a new battery in it. Clean out the tank carbs. Do the usual once over. She'll be golden. Maybe, maybe uh, the flash rust at the rear fender, we'll sand that down and clear coat it like the tank. I think we'll leave it like this too, uh, the unpainted tank look, it's, it's yeah, unique. I like it. Whoa, look at this one, huh? Now this is a beauty, look at this thing. This is an original low mileage 554, 70, class of 76. Wow, original paint. Everything's original on this thing, the bars. Turn signals showing 16,000 on the odometer. Look at the original exhaust on this thing, man. That's uh, that's unobtainium. You don't find original pipes, original exhaust systems that are. This thing's uh, 76, 40, what, 43 years old. Original shocks. This is the only thing I don't see that I see on this is not original. Is the is the grips? Whoa! Look at this one. Another <laughs> super rare dime piece. Look at this thing. Original paint, 554. 77. Wow, we'll wet sand and buff and touch this thing up, repaint the badges. Look at the seat, looks that the, great. That's the original exhaust on this too, huh? I don't know about the slip-on. It's got a brand new set of tires on it. No, that's an original factory HMC B 550F HM390. That's the original date code pipe. Really? Yep. Now, obviously, the, the, the last one, the K and this F, are the most valuable bikes we pulled off the load because they're original and that's how people want them. But uh, the bobbers have a certain uh, following now too. People like to customize them, makes them look a little less like your grandfather's 550 and uh, they're, they're fun to ride. It's missing the intake boots, but it has a set of pod filters on there. So two schools of thought. One, uh, put the original boots back on if they're available or two, jet it for these carbs that'll actually uh, run a little bit better. We have a couple aces up our sleeve. We can uh, micro, -drill the, micro drill the pilot jets on this thing so they don't run so lean and uh, get, it, get it jetted perfectly. It'll be, it'll be 12,000 miles. That's nothing. Seventy six CB seven fifty Super Sport. Look at that original. Wow. Thing. Now that's a cool piece right there. This is my favorite one. I love the square tank. Hey, we have two of them. Two of them. This thing's absolutely stunning. Look at this thing. Wow. If uh, if you've never ridden a well-tuned 754, you owe yourself the uh, the. It, it's it's amazing how smooth these things are, vibration-free, and they they. They just pull yep. really nice. 76. These came out longer wheelbase, high compression, a more aggressive cam. I believe uh, oversized carbs. Super Sport model. Oh yeah, less steep brake for stability at high let's speeds. Let's take a picture of the 120 Suzuki over here before let's, it goes bye bye. Let's do it. <laughs> Original 70s. Here's another classic 754. This is the. Uh, uh, what year is this one? Is this one 79? 78. 78. Now the seat, I, I'd prefer a stock one, but this one's not hideous like the forehead one that just came out earlier. <laughs> uh, this one's actually uh, kind of got a cool period correct look. The bar's got to go though. This is this is a. This is a big no-no right here, what happened with the bars. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to explain what happened, but these clip-ons don't belong on, on this at all. Um, why are the fork tubes so long? I don't know. I, I think the previous owner was a little confused. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he was 
confused confused about his uh, motorcycle uh, um, customizing. We will fix the glitch on this one, definitely. You know you know what he did here? He put these are these are four inch over tubes on a stock 750 front end. He must have, must have been thinking about chopping it out, which is like this, the worst thing you could ever possibly do to a 754, in my opinion. Uh, so we will put her back to stock and uh, defetter the front end and put the right bars on there. Cool piece, so. I, I think that this is the real forehead seat, to be completely honest. You hate it? Yeah. It I, is pretty terrible. Yeah, it's got a big forehead on her. God, I hope we have a stock one in stock somewhere in Honda Land. The uh, points look pretty clean, though. James, you got the ignition cover on this one? What? The ignition cover? I doubt it. No, that's okay. What a great way to start your Monday morning. We got titles for all these too? Yep. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, they're all Look at this, legit. huh? Legit. Legit titles on everything. Show them the technique, Kenny. Oh, hey, James has got something tucked away, but within an arm's reach. Kyle, show them the technique. If your brakes are frozen on your vintage bike, which happens after about five years of sitting, show them how you do it. Zoom in there. Rubber Zoom mallet. in. That's it. Try to push the piston in a little bit. Push the piston in, now it'll roll like, wow, look, look at this one. Guys, this made, this is the nicest one on the entire load. This thing's absolutely beautiful. Love the color, it's like a cranberry burgundy red with a white and gold stripe with a gold badge, lathered with chrome. Guys, this thing's all original, look at it. I don't see a single part on here that's not original, do you? Holy no, shit. The bike's legit, Wow. For sure. Man, I love the stock seat on seats on these. Why anybody would ever change that seat for the forehead seat is just ridiculous. Want to put the forehead seat on this one, pops? Yeah, yeah that'll um, I'll throw up my coffee a little bit. Now, this is a mod that that um we will take off, but um actually pretty cool mod if you're gonna ride it daily. It's a, a highway peg mount that that straps to the front down tubes to give you another spot for the long haul to stretch your arm, your uh, legs out a little bit. Can you straighten the mirrors out, please? Yeah, this is like <laughs> it's like it looks like Dumbo with them with them. Uh, on there, wrong. There you go. Wow. Yeah, when you see him come off the truck this clean, you know you got a winner. Because once a detail shop's done with this, guys, it's going to look like it just rolled out of the uh, Concourse de Elegance show. It's going to look beautiful. <laughs> Original paint is a 10 on this thing. Hey, look at that thing. Well, here wow. we go. Here we go. And this guy was really confused about his motorci motorcycle. Uh, <laughs> he didn't know if he wanted a green Cowie, an orange KTM, or a purple... Uh, Purple, purple uh, prepo leader. leader. This is pretty cool. What is this thing? Hey, it's, it looks actually it's well done. Good, I think it is. Looks, I, I look at the paint. Like it. Yeah, he's got he's got this vintage hot rod, the mouse, uh, rat fink mouse. Hey. Roll that bad boy out. Hey, he painted the chain green. Dude, it's got 700 miles on it. Roll this bad boy look out. Look at the tires. It's some... got 780 miles. Wow. Yeah. I, you know, this is something. This is something like if the guys came to me and said, "Hey, we want to paint the orange, the frame orange, the motor purple, and the tank green," I'd be like, uh, "Put the LSD away. Uh, get the drug test kit, Kenny, because they're definitely on something." But you know what? It's pretty cool. I mean, I, I frankly wouldn't wouldn't do this, but but uh, it it is definitely a conversation. Look at the piece. pipe on it. Hey, ooh. it's got a really cool pipe on it. Guys, it has 780 miles on it. It's like it wouldn't be nearly as cool if it wasn't done properly. Guys, we're not repainting this one. This is going out the door just the way it came in. They did a real nice job on the paint job too. They did. I mean, what do you think, Kyle? Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's very unique, and it's lightweight. That you could ride this thing on the trails. What did it start life as? It's, I know it's a Kawasaki, but what what model was it? It's a little Cowie single. It's a little KZ 200. It's a 200? Yeah, man. KZ 200, a little, little single. Thump, little thumper with that with that pipe on there. A little wheelie machine. Oh, yeah. I'll demonstrate that for sure. Zoom in on the Rat Fink on there. That's from, that's from the 70s. Yeah, that's, man. That's from, from my era. Rat Fink life. Hey, Moses, what do you think about Rat Fink? Oh, man. This is sexy. This is a sexy bike. You know? yeah. So we got one Kawasaki. We got one, one, one thorn amongst all the roses. We got one, two, three. Look at that line up there. How's that for a Monday morning? Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hondas. That, that can't go in the lineup. It's not a Honda. Put it right there, right in the middle of the driveway. It's fine. <laughs> my OCD will kick in big time if you put that green Cowie along with all my classic Hondas. This That's is like, like a, a little mini Honda museum. This is like a month's worth of Hondas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a month's worth of work for 18 guys. I hate to tell you, but... Um, it's 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 uh, probably fifty thousand dollars worth of payroll to to uh, restore all these, but whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Whoa! 
Whoa, wait, 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 whoa, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the press. Look at this bad boy. Wow. Now that is a freaking dime piece. Zoom in on the motor on that, Kenny. Here's the kit. The, the every nut, bolt, screw, washer thing that was done today. Wait till this thing gets a Steiger graphics kit on it. Schwing. This thing's gonna be beautiful. Wow. Look at the gold series pipe. Hey, maybe you should start the video off with this one. This one's a dime. Look at the frame on it. It's all polished beautifully. Hey, check out this side, Bob. Hey, you know, R Ronnie Mack, Uncle Ron's looking for a, a replacement for a Screaming Eagle. It's a he little says, whooped. He says he wants you to drive this. Is this, oh, fuck yeah. He uh, says this you, is an you incredible You don't have to ask me that twice. Incredible. I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna rev this thing to the moon. It's never been run. <laughs> this is a fresh rebuild that's not been run yet. I'm gonna make Uncle Ron look like a slouch when I ride this thing. Look at the way he polished this the stem here. That is ridiculous. I've well, no, what's I the haven't story, seen anything What's the story like on this bike? Who, who knows? So, Jerry McKibben, out of Georgia, built this one and reached out to us to sell it. So we paid up for the bike and had James ship it back all the way from Georgia. Look at the Prolink, even the Prolink's pilot. Look at those frame rails. There's not even a nick in them. This side is perfect. Wow. Honda racing covers polished up nicely. Even the inner, look at this guys. You know how much work it is to polish the inner clutch cover like this? The kicker, the inner clutch cover, the Honda racing, the brake lever, the engine cases. He didn't polish the cylinder, which gives it a nice contrast. Oh, I love a, that, yeah. It has a Platinum Series uh, pipe on there. So um, beautiful, beautiful. We'll send this to a detail shop. We'll polish from here up like chrome. We'll polish a swing arm like chrome. Maybe put some grip tape on there to add a little contrast. Uh, and we'll let Christy do her do her thing with the graphics. Um, this thing needs an American flag on it, man. It's freaking beautiful. Wow. T2, Nectar of the Gods. VP. Hey, my daughter Taylor's the 2022 VP spokes model. Check them out. Check out her calendar. Buy them at taylorkaplan.com. New Coffee Company stands for 911. And that's actually a motorcycle shop at Carlsbad, California, that a friend of mine, Jeff Konecki, uh bought his first motorcycle at, at. So buy your coffee, new coffee company, nooCoffeeco.com. They make coffee in Carlsbad, California, the home of motocross. Look at that. Ah, that's better than a cigar in the morning. <laughs> take a wolf, take a wolf, Just take a wolf. Cigar what do you think? No, take a yeah. wolf, sniff it, sniff it, Jesus sniff it. Jesus Christ, sniff it. Kenny, we're gonna go up in Kenny. flames. Let's see what Moses, take a good sniff, it'll clear your nostril. Oh, get right in there. Isn't that good? <laughs> hey, this will kill for sure. Wow, T2. I'm going to cut that out or else the fact checkers are going to get it all up on your whoa, business. Whoa, COVID. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Smith, thank you, Smith Works. I don't know you, but we love you. This is beautiful. <laughs> look, even the, the triple clamps are polished. The, in the inside of the triple clamps are polished. The frames, look at, look at, the, look at the quality of that. We need to have Uncle Ron swing a Lego over there and fix the glitch on the front fender. <laughs> he won't know what it is. It's white. You got to put the red plastic on there. <laughs> I think it's a Hasvarna. It's a Screaming Eagle. Fire this thing up. Look at the V-Force 3 reed valves on there. This has got the um, temperature gauge on the side. Zoom, zoom in and look at the nuts and bolts on this thing, man. Look, look, they're all like polished like chrome. It, 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 the graphics is what it needs. It needs the icing on the cake. Even the petcock's polished on it. Wow, look at the shock. The shock bumper's brand new. All right, let's fire this, fire this bad boy up. What you got there, Wiz? Wow. Check this out. It's a, it's a, it's a Honda 250 Mugen Wizard Tune. Hey, move that cowie out of the way. Wizard, do a couple passes up that pass there for us. Hey, this one needs a wizard tune. Okay, give it a roll call. Yoshihuro Honda himself is smiling down right now. He's tight as a tiger, brand new, brand new. It's 
brand new. And it'll definitely, definitely rip, it'll rip your house right off the damn foundation. Guaranteed. <laughs> Look at this thing. Make you tap on the float bowl, tap on the float bowl. Hey man, what's what's going on, man? Hey, where are you going with my, with my green mamba? Hey, I'm going to climb the truck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gonna show Billy Blight that you're no pussy. You'll jump it, huh? I, I just you gotta be careful. I'm coming in there. Oh <laughs> Guys, we're giving you a snapshot behind the scenes of what happens here at Captain Cycles. Fifteen bikes came in today. We got as many going out. We've sold over 100 bikes in the month of March. That green Suzuki's going out. This classic original paint DS185. And as part of our quality control, we start and run every one of these before they go out the door. Make sure they've, they've been triple checked already, but they're checked one more time before they go on a trailer. And if there's a problem after the fact, you call us and we help you out with it. That's, uh, that's how we get 100% positive feedback if they're selling 5,000 motorcycles on eBay. So look at this thing. Where are you gonna find another original, 100% original DS-185 with a title that runs like brand new? Or how about that RD right there? Look at that thing. These are just, these bikes are unobtainium, but they keep finding their way back here. And if you got a collection of 15 bikes, like the one that just rolled in today, give us a call, we'll buy your whole collection. 